Okay, we'll be transforming two functions today. We'll be transforming a cube function and a fourth, uh, to the fourth power. So, but the method is the same whether I have a three here or I have a four. It, it doesn't matter. Now, all we're doing is we're just going to be looking at taking a graph and sliding it left and right and sliding it up and down. Position of the numbers is key here. If it's in parentheses, then you will know that's a horizontal shift left and right. If it's out of parentheses, there's no parentheses involved and it's off to the side like this, then that means that you're sliding the graph up or down. Going up and down does what we think it ought to. If we have a plus sign, it goes up. If we have a minus sign, the graph goes down. Horizontal shifts, all of them, do opposite of what our brain tells us. When we see a plus, our brain thinks it ought to go right, and our brain thinks a minus ought to go down. When in fact, exactly the opposite happens. When we see a plus, instead of the graph going to the right, it'll go left, and when we see a minus, instead of it going down, uh, left, it goes right. So our brain wants to do things with the horizontal shift that doesn't occur. All right. So just bear that in mind when you're looking at it. So this is our first example. Um, we have a cube graph here. X to the third power is in blue. That's the blue graph. And I put the table here. So when I do X to the third power, negative 2 taken to the third power is negative 8. Negative 1 taken to the third power is negative 1. 0 to the third is 0. 1 to the third is 1. 2 to the third is 8. Now, I'm going to take that graph, the blue graph, and I'm going to do this graph alongside it, just so you can see what happens. I have g to the x is x third plus 5. It's not in parentheses. It's going to take that graph and shift it up 5 units. You can actually sketch this from your head faster than you can type it into a calculator and look at it if you know what you're doing. So you're actually, if you learn this stuff, saving time. Obviously, you can put it in your, t your, your graphing calculator of any kind, or you can go on Desmos on uh, the internet and graph it. But I'm telling you, if you know these graphs, and you will become familiar with them enough that you can memorize that it starts at 0, 0, negative, you know, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 8, when you cube things, 1 to the third power is 1, 2 to the third power is 8. So it's easier to take it and move it. So the, this one is shifting up 5. I literally take these points that are in here and just go up 5, up 5. Now that one, you know, up 5, I just estimated where 13 is. It's probably a little higher, but up 5. Take this one, up 5. Take this one down here, up 5, sketch, done. You just count it. It's, it's easier to do that to me than it is to type it in the calculator. Okay, now, this one is x to the fourth. It is negative x to the fourth. We have flipped it down. That's, that's all that that does is flip it down. Uh, if it was positive x to the fourth, this same graph that's in blue would just be up. That's all. But, and I put some points on, on the table that we can't even put on the graph, but Negative 2 to the 4th power is 16, but when you have a negative sign, it makes it negative. Negative 1 to the 4th power is 1, but that negative sign makes that 1 negative. Then we have 0, 0. Same thing happens here. Plug those in. This is the graph you will get. That graph is in blue. Now, I could not do 2 and 16, 2 and negative 16, and negative 2 and negative 16. Could not do that, so I just, it's a real steep graph. So I just shaded, just, just sketched it that way. All right. Now this is the same thing that you see here. Okay. So this, this graph is shifting left and right and also shifting up and down or left or right, up or down. So a plus sign, remember our brain wants to go right, but it's not, it's actually going to go left and this is going to go down. In all honesty, faster than you can type it in the calculator. You can take this point right here, move it two left, one down. Take this point, two left, one down. 
take that point, two left, one down, and you sketch the new graph that fast. And that's all there really is to it. It's just shifting left and right and up and down, taking the parent, shifting it. Thank you.